now officially a national holiday as of yesterday. And Juneteenth is uh, recognition of the last announcement of the end of the Civil War and the uh, uh, pronouncement of all slaves being free as that message finally hit uh, the state of Texas. Distancing are optional. Our 
interested in helping with activities like the all church luncheon uh, and funeral luncheons and special gatherings, if you feel a calling to, to serve, the Member Care Mission Committee is one place that uh, is a possibility. If you would like to serve in that capacity, if you'll let Bruce know. Our next letter drive coming up on July 13th from 1 to 7 p.m. and July 14th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. If you are able to give blood, go to redcrossblood.org and follow following instructions at that location. And the building is being re-engaged. I believe yoga is coming back into the building. <laughs> I, I heard it. I heard it. They say yes. So we have uh, the yoga group is on the move. Our prayer group meets on Tuesday. If cardio is running on Tuesday evening. Uh, the church picnic is on Thursday. Prayer Shaw group is meeting on Thursday. Friday. I guess a good reminder. Friday. Prayer Shaw group meets on Friday, 9.30. Here. Be here. Well, <laughs> well, well in the news notes, we have two Thursdays. Thursday, June 24th. And I'm going to the screen. Up there, that's right. In here. So Fridays. At 9.30 a.m., the prayer shop ministry, and uh, if you have somebody that could benefit from a prayer shop or a prayer blanket, you can let uh, Barb or Carolyn know, and they'd be happy to, to assist you in selecting a prayer shop or a prayer blanket that will, will help uh, extend God's love and St. Luke's love and prayers to, to those those in, in need of uh, that, that extra embrace. Uh, any other announcements? Ah, yeah, I almost forgot that one. Uh, join, join me on Tuesday evening. Uh, you, can, you can be at home. I don't care if you're wearing blue jeans or pajamas. Uh, June 22nd, 7 p.m. You have a link for a Zoom meeting. Uh, there's not bad news coming, so don't be fretting and worrying about that. Uh, it's enabled, enabling us to begin reconnecting and to hold one another in prayer. Part of it is also so that those of us who are gathered in this space can also connect with, with those who are homebound that can, can connect on the Zoom. So we'll have a time just to check in. 